few weeks ago, we looked at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, and we thought about the message that Paul preached, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. But I want us to look at the chapter again and notice four last things that are recorded here. First of all, in verse 8, we have the last witness. And last of all, he was seen of me also as one born out of due time. Now, Paul records that Christ's resurrection was witnessed by many. He doesn't record them all, but he cites five occasions. And then he says this. And last of all, he was seen of me also. But when did Paul see the resurrected Christ? Well, on that Damascus road, he was going down to persecute the Christians. And the Lord stopped him. He cried, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And that day the Lord revealed himself to Saul of Tarsus. And he was gloriously and wonderfully saved by the grace of God and became the mighty Paul, the preacher. He really feels, you know, he's not worthy because he said, I'm the least of all the apostles. And yet he goes on to say, but by the grace of God, I am what I am. This is what God in his grace allowed him to witness, the resurrected Christ. The last witness. But then when you go down to verse 26, you have the last enemy. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. Now you and I know that death is an enemy. Death's an enemy of the family. It takes a father and mother away from their grieving children. It takes uh, children away from their heartbroken parents. For death doesn't care. Death is an enemy of the church of Jesus Christ. It takes away some of the greatest prayer warriors that held the ropes of prayer or the leaders of the flock of God. Yes, death's an enemy. But thank God in the cross of Calvary, the Lord Jesus Christ not only died for our sins, but the grave could not hold him because up from the grave he arose with a mighty triumph over his foes. And we too... Thank God we can look death in the face and say, Death, where is thy sting? Grave, where is thy victory? Thank God one day, one day, the last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. What a day. And then going down to verse 45, and so it is written, The first man, Adam, was made a living soul, and the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Now, you and I know that we are born of Adam's race under the curse of a broken law. But thank God, God did not leave us there in our sins because God tells us in Galatians chapter 4, but when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman, made under the law to redeem them that were under the law that we might receive the adoption of sons. Thank God, Jesus came to redeem us and to save us from our sins. And praise the Lord, in him we live. In him we have eternal life. Yes, Adam, that's the natural man. But thank God in Christ the spiritual. And we shall live and reign with him forever and ever. Yes, the last Adam. And then when you turn to verse number 52, you have the last trump. It says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. The last trump. I remember as a boy when all of our family came to the Lord Jesus, singing the words of that hymn together. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. When the saved on earth shall gather over on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder, we'll all be there. What a blessed hope we have, friend. Yes, 
we may have to walk through the valley of death and remember death's our enemy. And they take our body and they put it into the ground and they walk away. But praise God, there's coming a day. Yes, we, our souls go immediately to be with the Lord, but the body lies in the grave. And then the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise first. And we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. My, what a comfort it is for the trumpet shall sound. Tell me, are you looking forward to that day? Are you ready to meet the Lord, friend? If not, I beg you to come to him today and be saved. Heavenly Father, bless your word to our hearts. For Jesus' sake, amen. From my heart to yours, home to yours, God bless you.